Hey everyone, it's Field Shot back at it with an Awakening Chaos Era video, and in this one I'm going to be going over the arena event, what the value of the arena event is, and also how many points and battles you actually need to do to complete the event. So I do this every time. If you enjoy this content, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and we're going to jump into the arena event now. So this is a three day long event, and we need 3k points to complete it. And in order to get points, you need to win or lose battles in Arena. Losing battles is actually not that bad of a point drop, which is very similar to the previous Arena event. Now, obviously, if you're higher rated, you're going to get more points. No, there's not too many people in Legend because this event coincided with the Arena reset, the weekly reset that it does, and it dropped us a couple ranks. So there's not too many people in Legend currently. But I'm going to go ahead and drop a spreadsheet up on screen here and show you um, how many battles it will actually take uh, in order to complete the event. Now this is calculated for 80% win rate. Uh, so if you have higher win rate, it might be a little bit easier. If you have lower win rate, it might be a little bit harder. And I'm going to refer to that spreadsheet on my second screen here. So you actually need, you actually get 72 battle uh, arena passes per three days. So you're going to get 24 per day. So you get 72 over the total of the event. So that means you're going to need 34 passes in order to finish in bronze uh, because you're going to get 2,050 points in those 72 arena battles. And then you're going to need 27 passes in silver, 21 passes in gold, uh, 15 passes in platinum, and 11 passes in diamond in order to finish the event. Again, all those point values uh, that are totaled on top of those passes needed is based on the 72 arena passes that you get during the three days. So if you're using the arena passes that you get just naturally, and on top of the packs that you get from, you know, just farming regularly, you actually don't need that many packs. Um, if you're in bronze, you're going to need about seven to eight, uh, depending if you lose or win more. And then it goes down from there. So if you've been saving them, you should have no problems completing the event in just the amount of, you know, arenas allotted, as well as the passes that they give you. Now, how do the rewards stack up uh, on this event and also compared to the previous event? So again, for those of you that have not seen my, my videos, I will drop a spreadsheet up on screen here and the one in the red is the price that the game calculates these items are actually at and the one in the green is based on my xp jelly calculator which i have in the description down below it calculates the items based on whether or not you're farming mythic or later or earlier stages um and the value of the pumpkins will increase or decrease based on where you're farming so they have decreased value in this case because we're calculating for mythic so for this event the total comes out to about 1,200 diamonds uh, on my calculator and about 1,680 diamonds uh, from the game's base price, which is actually pretty solid. Um, this is very similar rewards to the previous event um, that a lot of people were unhappy about. Um, but, you know, we're getting a Stardust here. We're getting quite a bit of pumpkins and we're getting some XP boost. So some solid rewards here, as well as the event tokens, which are always, always nice um, for those of you that are wanting to get some Orax out there. Now, how does this compare to the previous arena event? So I'm going to drop that one up on screen right beneath the uh, one that's on screen right now. And it comes out to actually 1,550 diamonds in the red for the previous event and 1,066 diamonds um, from the previous event for my calculator. And one of the big reasons for this is the previous event didn't actually not have Stardust in it and as well didn't have as many pumpkins in it. So the, this event is actually better than the previous event in terms of diamond value and the rewards we're getting. So for those of you that were, you know, wondering about the trend of the events and such and worried about it, again, that previous gear enhancement event was an anomaly uh, from my data. I've cataloged every single event so far. And this, again, isn't too much far above the average. This is pretty close to the average. Some events are going to be a little bit better, and some are going to be a little bit worse uh, in terms of diamond value. So this is pretty on par with the events that I've been covering, and I'm not surprised that it's slightly more. But it's nice to see always when they do a little bit increased rewards for some of these events, especially since the arena event is one of the harder ones to complete because you just need to do a ton of battles, and uh, you know sometimes you're just going to lose a bunch in order to finish the event. <laughs> so... Hopefully that's in, uh, helpful for you all in order to complete the event on time and whether or not you actually want to complete the event. As I said, if you do enjoy these types of videos, I do them every time an event comes out. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video and I will see you for the next one.